Now we move to the ESACOM software. The process is started by specifying uh, materials. The most convenient way is to use a project specific template file. For this demonstration, I will use the file that comes with the ESACOM installation. One should pay attention that all materials used in the winding process are defined in ESACOM as well, and all material IDs are equivalent. Material IDs are specified through the edit menu by selecting extension variables. After specifying the material properties, one can launch the simulation through import menu and selecting composite. One will browse the folders and select the section data file. CompositeCAD export writes three files that need to reside in the, in the same directory. Then the simulation is started. One may also run a preview before the actual simulation. At least in the beginning, when the model has just been created, it may be useful to check the mesh. Some property items can also be cross-checked using the preview that the defi definitions are as planned. Now we went directly to the, to the simulation as the results viewer now provides more extensive way of visualizing the property items and the results. Visualization can be made either ply-wise or laminate cross-section-wise. If the part type is ply and the contour, for example, global ID, and then I will additionally pick the side view. One can observe that there are 36 global plies in the model. These can be visualized simultaneously, these plies or one by one. The part type can be also laminate. Then the visualization is made in cross-section wise. In this case, part ID1 is located here at the head end and then uh, part ID 234 here at the tail end. When the part type laminate is selected and when the result contour is thickness, uh, then the thickness is related to the thickness of the cross section. I can pick a cross-section from the middle part of the model here and I can verify that the thickness corresponds to the one in CompositeCAD. If the part type is ply and the result item is thickness, then the results, the thickness is related to the thickness of individual lamina. I switch the result item to orientation. I pick uh, the innermost, innermost lamina. Okay, one can observe that the orientation of this lamina is 89 degrees, but at the end of the lamina there is a filler element that's actually the resin material. We can verify that by switching the contour to material. So now material ID 7 is assigned to the resin and ID 1 to the structural lamina. Um, in this post-processing I can exclude the results for the, for the filler elements by selecting results to be shown only for the solid 8 elements. Now I can 
observe that the orientation of the lamina is constant 89 degrees. Then the counterpart for this lamina is having the layer orientation minus 89 degrees. The third lamina, the winding direction is 80 degrees. It is in the cylindrical cell section at, and also at the beginning of the dome, but then uh, when going to the turning point, orientation changes quite fast to 90 degrees. Uh, results can also be visualized using line charts, which is in many cases more informative. So I pick the line chart visualization. And in this line chart, location 0 corresponds to the intersection of the dome and the cylindrical, cylindrical cell section. And now this was only, the, the, the length of the cylinder was 200 millimeters, so the scale here is in meters and, and 0 0.2 corresponds to the other intersection point. So from the line chart we can observe that at this intersection region the orientation pretty fast changes from, from the 80, 80 to 90. Then I pick the thickness and uh, the nominal thickness for this lamina or this material was, was 0 0.22 millimeters. The winding coverage was 109 percent and thus uh, the nominal thickness in the structural model is 0 0.24 millimeters. That's actually here. And then uh, when going to the turning point, the thickness increases up to 1.3 millimeters. Some thickness oscillation can be observed here. It is better depicted with the, with the line chart. And one can see that here the thickness a little bit oscillates before going to the turning point. This topic was already mentioned earlier in this presentation.